Well, let's move on to failed presidential candidate and election result denier, Hillary Clinton, who has been wheeled out for an interview with MSNBC. And she's not very happy with the US media, who she claims have not done enough to stop Donald Trump. A determined demagogue, unfortunately supported by members of his political party, other enablers, uh, people who care more about uh, a future tax cut than uh, the sanctity of the Constitution, are falling in line uh, behind him. They are trying to excuse some of the most outrageous things that you just recited. And I don't think the press has done enough to basically say, OK, the circus is here. You can watch the circus. But let's tell you what that means. Let's talk to people who have a real understanding of how uh, dictatorships evolve. James, how delusional is this person to look at the US coverage and think that it hasn't been negative enough against Donald Trump? It's absurd. I love that she goes, look, the media has not done enough to criticise Donald Trump. She is on the media <laughs> criticising <laughs> Donald Trump. She is doing what Pulling she's him saying. Pulling him a demagogue and a dictator. And that's the other thing, is that she says, he, oh, this is how dictatorships form, while saying that the media needs to fall in line behind one of the two uh, Democratic parties. Like, I'm sorry? <laughs> I think uh, if she's really serious about stopping Donald Trump, I think there is an inverse relationship over the years of Hillary Clinton interviews to Donald Trump support numbers. They just... The more interviews, the more his support goes up. So if she's really serious about wanting to get rid of Donald Trump forever, never give another interview. It'd be the best thing she could do for it. Yeah. Darren, what are your thoughts? Trump certainly has a penchant for saying things and making claims whose truthfulness is, shall we say, challengeable. Um, but what matters most is that we as reporters and journalists um, report the story and find the truth and um, hold the powerful to account. And it's not really our jobs um, to be political activists and, and to do the bidding on behalf of Hillary Clinton or, or the Democrats or any other <laughs> political party, um, for that matter. Yeah, it's really, really good point. All right, let's go to stories of the week. James, what do you have for us? Uh, so the number one story in the US is the Stormy Daniels trial and uh, all the things that are going on about that. And I just love that for years... We have heard we need to hear from Stormy Daniels. We need to hear the truth of what happened. We need to have this case brought up and we need to send Trump to jail. And it's been a moment for the left of just going, careful what you wish for, because you can say all you want that we want to hear from Stormy Daniels. Turns out when she takes a stand, she's going to graphically tell you her side of things about how she had sex with Donald Trump, and you're going to have to sit there and imagine it. You're going to have to sit there and imagine all of those things that she's describing, and it's disgusting the left. I think we've got to grab it was a lot. I mean, it was it was talk about a, a, a condom. It was talk about the sexual position. It was it was it was I, I don't I, let me stop. Yeah. You made your bed. You got to lie in it. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I, I don't want to listen to that no. myself. <laughs> Darren, what do you have for us? Stories of the week. OK, an extraordinary story. It's um, it's 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 Piers Morgan interviewing um, the alleged stalker um, who inspired a very popular um, miniseries on Netflix called Baby Reindeer, which has gone viral. Um, and it's, it's just, I've only watched about 45 minutes of the one-hour interview. Uh, it's just a very good watch of Piers Morgan. Um, she's gone on the show to exonerate herself and, and tell her side of the story and claim that she's not, in fact, a stalker. And as the interview unfolds, um, you get to see her actually in real time change her facts, change... Um, her account of what happened and by the end she's given many different versions of of um of what the of, of the whole story so um yeah it's, it's a it's a really good watch on the Piers Morgan show and um and this and the series itself on Netflix is, is worth a watch as well